So this video is all about Sekhmet Hathor. Sekhmet, the goddess of war, the dark mother, the shadow mother. She's a powerful alchemist, obviously a lion goddess as well. And she is here to just teach us so much about harnessing our fire, our sacred fire within, harnessing our rage um, and channeling that into, into power rather than just destructiveness, right? So there is so much I could say about Sekhmet, but this is her inter introduction. She is the shadow mother. She is the lady of the flame. She is a powerful healer and she's a force. She is a force to be reckoned with. Now, the other side to her Sekhmet is Hathor. Okay, so Hathor is the goddess of love. She is the goddess of sacred sexuality. She is the goddess of drunkenness, sex, creation. Um, she was a, a, a midwife and she is so, so powerful when it comes to to um, anything that you want to create, you tap into Hathor, it's it's like a done deal. You know, all of these goddesses and that have powerful creative abilities in their own right. But Hathor is all to do with the womb. And whether you're a man, man or not, it doesn't matter. Use your energetic room, whatever. She's very, very powerful in bringing those things through. But she's also the goddess of the astrology, of, um, of festivities. If you're a musician, you'll be very connected to Hathor as well. Um, she is the seven. Hathors. Seven Hathors are the seven Pleiades, right? So there, there is a massive star connection there, huge. Now they're one of the same goddesses, right? So one flip modes into the other. Now I want to talk a lot about Sekhmet first of all, because I've been wanting to do this video for a while to explain the connections between this massive Sekhmet raging fire that everybody is experiencing since landing on the YouTube channel, um, because there's a bit, there's a there's a meditation on there which is the the Sekhmet um, sacred initiation. I think it's the fire initiation meditation. Um, I never get the names right for my meditations, but you know the one. If you haven't done that meditation yet press pause, maybe go and do it. If you have done it, then you know what I'm talking about. It has activated so many. There are other meditations with Sekhmet, but that is the one that Sekhmet told me is actually the, what do they call it? Like the key, the activator to bring her children home. That is the one that she chose through me to record. And it's just taken on a life of its own because it's just reaching so many Sekhmet warriors all over the planet. And I'm so blessed, honored, and happy that you found yourself here because this really is a Sekhmet portal because she is very much my signature frequency. Um, and But then having said that, so is Hathor. But I would say which one is more prominent? You start with Sekhmet with me and then I give you Hathor. Some of you might find that your power connection is with Hathor, first of all, and you need a bit more Sekhmet in your life. But anyway, I'm going to bring these two goddesses together triple goddess vibe going on here, Sekhmet, me, and Hathor. I'm going to bring these two goddesses together, though, for you to understand and unpack your process, because what is going on is very, very powerful. Now, let me rewind my connection with, with uh, Sekhmet. Many years ago, when I was very, very, very inadequate, very small, very just a, a shadow of a person that I am today, um, I remember going to um, Egypt, and um, I stood right next to her statue, it was with a big group and we were crowded into this room. She told me, you're gonna to bring tours here. You're gonna to do your own, you're gonna do your own sacred missions here and it's gonna be very different to what you see here. Of course, my first response was like, absolutely not, no, that's way too scary and I left. Now, <laughs> flash forward years later, here I am doing exactly what she said to, said to me that I was gonna do. Now, I am very much a foot soldier, if not a Lieutenant of Sekhmet and I, I am recruiting, I'm recruiting, but like in all honesty, the truth is, she spoke to me and said, bring my children home. Um, but first of all, I, being one of her children, had to bring myself home. And that was the process that I walked, going back to Egypt again and again and again, and ultimately really looking deep into my shadow and my pain and suffering um, for whatever's happened to me in past lives. We've all got our own stories, but she was the one that brought the sacred fires online. And I've walked a very, very powerful path with my mother Sekhmet, and she's brought me to this place where I am now. And now I've harnessed her fires because they were raging out of control before. Now I've harnessed them. You know, I'm able to lead by example and now I'm really grounded in that. And then I use her fires for transmutation. I work with her fire element, right? Now, that is what this is all about. So if a lot of you have done that meditation, it's been kaboom, like fires have raged out of control. Some people are like several days later, they're still burning in their bodies because she's getting your attention. You know, we are divine feminines and we're divine masculines. There's a lot of men here as well, but there's doesn't matter whether you're man or woman, there's 
There's rage. There's anger inside of you for whatever has happened to you, for being like your light has been dimmed, you know, uh, violated, taken, taken advantage of, your power being taken. Essentially, we give it away. But either way, they're all pathways to just lead us to our rage. And that's why Sekhmet is up front and center now, because she's like, address your rage. Now, whatever happened to you, whatever happened to you was not your fault. Whatever pain and suffering and, and horrible experiences you went through, that wasn't your fault. But it's your responsibility to take control of that and transform and transmute that pain and suffering and, and alchemize it, tra transform it into its highest form, which is love. Love is your power. Okay. So, so we're taking like doubt and we're bringing it into trust. We're taking fear and we're bringing it into courage. And that's what Sekhmet has, has helped me with from that really, really scared um, little girl, essentially crammed up in a squashed up against the wall with this big group of people in Egypt. And like, I was so small and then that's who I was. And now not so much, you know, so this divine goddess will help you like, like harness your fires. Now let's talk about fire. Fire is destructive, man. If you let it rage out of control, it can burn rainforests down. It is, it, it, it can destroy, it can maim, it can scar, it can do a lot of damage. And so can your sacred fires. If you're just raging and throwing it out there, no responsibility for where it's going. Essentially that is your power as well. So you're just letting it go all over the place. If we harness the fires, if we work with the fire, we can cook food and feed ourselves. We can cleanse, we can transmute, we can even burn the ground. We have controlled fires here where we burn the ground and we basically bring fresh energy into the ground so new roots can sprout. You know, that's what all the farmers do here. That's controlled fires, right? And there's a lot of good that comes from that. So when we work with fire, we can warm ourselves, you know, do sacred fire ceremonies. You know, it's extremely powerful. And that is essentially the balance that needs to happen here. We need to really address that there is a lot of rage or there's a lot of pain. Work with Sekhmet and say, show me, bring it home. Show me how to bring it home, mother. And we, we transform ourselves through her sacred fires of transmutation. That is what she means by bring my children home, okay? Because we have... You know, I always say to Sekhmet, give me your eyes, you know, because cat's eyes, you know, you can see. Give me your ears because they have a very, very keen sense of, of hearing. Give me give me your, your voice, your lion's roar, your roar of truth, proclaiming my power to the sun. That's what lions do. And, of course, your lion's heart, okay, courageous warrior. We all have that in us. And yours might be laying dormant because he or she is a little bit out right now because the pain's been a little bit too much. But she is waiting to help you bring that back online now. So that is what I'm saying. Bringing the fires into your being. When you've done that meditation and it gets a bit intense, it's because she's now saying, don't just leave it there. Go the next level bring it in, start to work with her sacred flames. She is the dark mother. She'll take you to your dark places and tra transform all that darkness into light, right? Activate your lion's heart, you know? So then when you get to this place of holding your fires, you're now leading by example. You are, you know, you are just holding that space. Look at me now taking my own um, peeps to the tablets of light. Tour to, it's a portal. I take them there now. I take you back to the mother, I hold that space. I wasn't I wasn't ready to do that before. That's why she chose me. She said, you need to do this first. Bring yourself home to me and then you'll bring others. That was a process. And now I have harnessed my fires and I'm holding my power. I can hold others. So when we go to Egypt, it's a very, very powerful pilgrimage. Many people come to Egypt with me for many different reasons because there's many different gods and goddesses that they're connected with. But Sekhmet is always a powerful pull in that. And instead of like clambering into her sacred chambers and pushing ourselves through the doors and just being in there one big group, I don't do that. We don't do that. We really, really approach like, you know, ceremonially because it's like even from the second you live your home and you travel to Egypt, it's started, man. And when you arrive in Egypt, I I just stand at the door and you go in and you go and meet the mother in her chambers, just you and her. And that is between you and her. That's got nothing to do with anybody else. It is the most profound, powerful homecoming you will ever, ever experience. And that is a sacred experience. And that is why you enter that chamber on your own, because it's between you and her, as I say. So who you go in, in as and who you come out as, completely different, completely different. It's powerful. It's powerful. And it literally is life changing. It's game changer. So when she calls you and you feel that call and you travel to Egypt, 
and we go there. It's like, oh, hold on to your hat because then everything will change. Everything will change. So this is a, a reunion. It's a reclamation of power. Even going to see her in her chambers in Egypt, that is reclaiming your power. You're going back to the beginning and you're honoring that. And believe me, you will be you will be rewarded for that. You know what I mean? And, and big things will change in your life. So now the fires, they are harnessed. We settle into a, a powerful state of presence. Okay. Then all of a sudden Hathor comes online because now your heart is healed. Now your fires attained. Now you stand in the prowess of the goddess of Sekhmet. You are now grounded and in comes Hathor. And she is the goddess of love. Love is the element of water. So she brings fire, water. They're two opposing forces. So when the two come together, it is unbelievable. So like a Sekhmet held my hand and I could see my hand in her paw and she passed me over. Like, just like there her hand is, she passed me over to Hathor and then Hathor, the mother, brought me in. And I was calm enough to now receive the healing of my wounded feminine. And you know what? Even if you're a guy, you'll have a wounded feminine as well, you know? Absent mothers in our lives, you know, maybe, maybe woundings from, from, if you're a guy, like, you know, not very nice relationships from toxic feminine, whatever, whatever has gone on for you, guy or a girl, Hathor comes in now and she comes in to smooth all of that into a softness, right? Into, into your heart energy. She makes it all right. So, I mean, imagine Sekhmet comes in, she gets everything in order and then comes in the mother who's a lot softer, but the two of them together, profound. Now, when your heart energy comes online, when peace is restored and your heart is activated and you're connected to the stars with Hathor, then all of a sudden your creation codes on, come online and you start to really step forth, Sekhmet and Hathor together as this oneness wisdom, as above, so below, connected. You start to lead by example. And Hathor, I mean, look at these two goddesses. They have the sun, the sun disc above their heads. Their father is Ra. Ra is the, is the sun God. And he is a force to be reckoned with. He is like, he is the God, right? And he is the one that brings the protection. Is it, he has the, 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 the eye of Ra, the eye of Ra, the eye of Horus, familiar? I, the eye of Ra is very, very powerful and protective. That's their dad. And these guys are you. So, I mean, like, come on, like, what are we worried about? You need to get out there and start sharing your encodements. But these two goddesses, when Hathor, like I say, starts to walk with you, she will bring your creative abilities onto a level that you never knew was possible. You know, and, and with fire, fire brings creation. So, you know, and, and the water washes away and cleanses that which does not serve. So you get the idea of working with these two goddesses. So you might find just very prominent with, with, with Sekhmet. It's, it's, it's up there and you might arrive through to Hathor. Or you might find that you're very Hathor and hard, but you need some courage coming online. So it depends which way you enter in here. But it matters not because either way, you will get exactly what you're meant to receive from these two powerful divine goddess mothers. And just, I mean, we haven't even got into the rest of the Egyptian Natero and the guidance they bring, like Toth and everything like that. It just builds and builds and builds. When you come onto the tablets of Light Tour, this is what we're working with. This is what you get empowered with. Ancient wisdom for your modern day living because you've got to live. You've got to be in this now timeline. And this is how we do it. They bring these aspects of you online so you can be balanced, so you can be heart, so you can be love and you can be loved. And when all of that is in balance, then like, you know, once you know the formula, you can't unknow it. So Egypt may be calling you in a very, very big way. you got to listen to that. And if that's the case, then we need to have a conversation. Tablets of Light Tour is in May the 9th, 2024, and already divine beings have heard the call. And you may be part of that, that, that collective because there's always a soul connection with the people that come to Egypt, not just with me. So it is time now to reclaim your power, to harness those fires, have all of these elements work for you instead of against you. And this is what they're here to remind you of because you are very, very powerful. And a lot of that power is laying in dormancy. So also as well, there is the, the circle community. All of this will be in the link. Circle community, come and join me there. I'm starting to do live groups, live streams at the end of the, each month. And the HECA Codes course, which is bringing your HECA, your alchemy online. This is where all these god gods and goddesses show themselves in the sessions. The HECA Codes course will be having a number of seven 
attendees or initiates only. That will be launched in the next few weeks. So look out for that, but you'll see that in the Circle community. But for now, the Hacker Codes one-on-one is very much in flow. And these are sessions that I do, which activate all of this. I bring Egypt to you if you can't get to Egypt, basically. So all of this is in the Circle community. And I invite you over there because it's a lovely, beautiful space for you to land into. And it's everything, everything Egypt, everything the stars, everything alchemy. So it's time. It's time for you to know yourself. It's time for you to realize who you really are. And it's this, it's this. That's it, that's all. Peace.